Also, I feel like at some point the main, like the main area of the city is going to get flooded at some point. It's a large area. I don't know how it would work exactly, but I feel like the main part of the city is going to get flooded at some point and have a big run there. It, it's just, it's just a feeling. And it might not because of how it is, but I feel like it might. There's a there's a monitor in the um, the salmon run, like room place, and it has it, it's monitoring the main area of Splatsville. So I feel like it's gonna get flooded at some point. I feel like it's gonna be a big run there. And anyway, we have a brush for this. Somebody has a umbrella, which will or well, the. I think it's- no, it's not a umbrella, is it? I can't remember. But it's good for covering the ground. Actually, everyone else has one of those. I'm the only one with the brush. So we should be good at covering ground, but will we be good enough at actually taking out enemies? Actually, I think- now that I think about it, I don't- we might not be trading- are we trading weapons or are we getting completely different weapons each round? I haven't been paying that much attention. Apparently, there's a lot of enemies. There's a lot of enemies getting pushed back. I'm gonna die. Wow, I was trying to run because the the brush is good for getting around somewhat. I still couldn't get away. There's a lot of enemies. Need to take out the fly fish. Oh boy, two of them are down. Need to get them back up and take out this enemy. Okay, we're still alive. Oh boy, there's another one. There's a lot. It's fine. We have enough golden eggs by the looks of it. We just need to survive now, which is easier said than done, especially if we're trying to get more golden eggs because we want score. Which, I mean, that's understandable because the, 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 the gold requirements are quite high. I, don't even, I haven't even reached that much on a regular run, so I don't know. I don't know, I need to play this a lot more, I guess, to just get good, somehow. Although a lot of it comes down to what weapons you get, so... It's hard. It's hard to get the best score possible. I wish you could just buy the rewards if you had enough stuff, eventually. But yeah. I know it's supposed to be like, you did this thing good. But also, some of us can't can't get that good. Yeah, we have completely different weapons. That's interesting. I didn't realize that was what it was. I thought we would have, like, the weapons in wave one, and then we'd shuffle them around between us. But no, it's completely different weapons every round. That's interesting. That's actually a very interesting thing. Oh boy, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna try and get some of these eggs out though, if I can. They're better with it. My allies are much better with any type of charger than me, apparently, which is good. Ah, don't fall off the edge. I need to get up on that tower, but I don't think I am going to. Because, just knowing me. I'm like one of the two people that can really deal with the tower. Somebody else looks like they've deal dealt with it, so that's good. Let's get this, except I'm out of ink. Ah! Out of ink is not good. Also, I'm pretty sure the explosion from this still hurts things around it. I might be wrong about that, though. Oh boy, we're getting pushed back a lot. Ah! Shockwaves. It's not great, but it's fine. We need a little bit more golden eggs. Two of us are down. I'm prioritizing score right now, which is not great. Just trying to... need to survive. Please, actually hit them. Please. Oh boy. <gasps> it's fine. So fine, we need two more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, one more. I think we might make it. As long as we survive now, we should be good. Why did it cut out again? Whoa, what's going on? What is going on? I hope that's not in the recording. If, if that's just, I don't know. I might just cut it out. Oh boy. This is the problem with recording while I'm doing something else is the, the frames are gonna be pretty bad possibly because I'm overloading. I'm, I, I don't have enough processing power. But it's fine. 
I can just notice, I can just see the frames going up and down. That might be why the audio is getting out of sync. Quite possibly. I can't hit that. Also, yeah, the, 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 the game, the, the, it's trying to, the speeding up and slowing down, trying to keep up. I just wish I could have been not busy so I could also just record normally, but big runs seem to always happen while I'm busy. I wanted to, I wanted to do it, so. I was actually able to make it to this one, but I wasn't really able to record it. Properly, at least, so. This is the best I can do, I'm sorry. We might be able to get through this round. This is the final round, so I should really be using my special, but I don't think I am. For some reason. Even though there's no reason not to use my special in the third round, so. Let me see if I can get this enemy boss down a little bit. No, I'm getting pushed back a lot. I can be up pretty close with this weapon, but no. Uh, it's, you probably need to not get too close still. It's, it's, it, there's a reason it shoots out projectiles. Oh boy, that didn't work out for us, did it? It's fine, we're still alive, somehow. Let me see if I can take out this boss. And get upper ground. Maybe even bring up, revive some allies. Oh boy, there's so much stuff. But we have enough stuff, so we should be good. As long as it lasts another 13 seconds, so. Let's not crowd up too much. Let's just take out the enemies. Three, two, one. I think we're good. We have 30, 40 eggs that round. But I think, I think we're doing extra wave now. Yep, emergency. King Salmonid. Horroboros. Horroboros. I don't know. It's basically the same thing. It's pretty cool though. This, this is a giant serpent Salmonid. It flies around the level, so it doesn't really get too close to attack. But in its mouth, it is actually building up a... What's it called? A, a booyah bomb, boys, basically. But if you can blow it up inside of its mouth, it does massive damage, which is really what you want to do. As per normal for Extra Wave, you want to take out as many of the regular bosses as possible so you can get Golden Eggs to shoot at it as well. So Golden Eggs into the mouth when it's charging up its attack. Very good. But also... It, it, what I think is really cool is they have that little thing inside of their mouth and sometimes the bosses themselves actually have that like on their head or something. I just think that's cool that they have an in-law reason for their giant like charge up attacks. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like they actually have this technology type thing that they actually use. I just think that's really cool. Also that's a big explosion, get back, get back. I have a charger for this. This is not a great combination of things, but that's okay. We almost have it defeated with 30 seconds left, so I need to revive, please. Focus on the important stuff. If we just live, we can win this. Three. Come on, we're so close to winning. We're so close to winning. And wave clear. First try. Booyah. One day I'll actually record extra wave live <laughs> I've had to post or like post commentary every <laughs> extra wave that I've won it's fine I mean there's only like one that I've actually <laughs> recorded for post commentary but there we go pretty good so horror Boris is in regular runs now as well so if you want to if you still want to fight it you still can you just need to get that to, to extra wave and hope that it's gonna be a Horroboros, basically. Which, given that it's a 50-50 chance, is pretty likely at this point. I'm hoping that they're gonna keep adding more bosses. I'm, I'm, it's pretty cool that they've added one to begin with, so... <laughs> Just, it's, it's cool that they're adding more stuff in general, so... Something I hope that they add is basically... more rooms to the, the lobbies. So you can do more things, basically. Like, I feel like there should be, a, like, an art room where you can just do art stuff or break boxes. Like, in certain levels of the stories and expansions and stuff, where you have to break the boxes to make a shape. I don't know if that's a great idea, but they could. I don't know. I don't know if that's a great idea, but I feel like they could add more stuff to the lobbies in, just in general to make it more interesting. I don't know. It doesn't need to be interesting, but I feel like they could make it more interesting. 
Anyway, we have a Grizz Cobrella, which is going to help with covering all of this ground ever. Look at how much we've covered already. Just with the Brella. The Grizz Cobrella. Okay, some of these take out both of those, thank you. Also, this guy here with the, the charge up on his head, he has that thing that they use to build up the, the specials. And I think that's cool. This is, this is what I mean. Also, it's, it's, it's weird to me just saying that right now because I don't really think of them as using specials, but that's basically what the bosses do. They use specials. Let me take out that guy before he spawns in more specials. It's fine. Also, that... This... The one... It's interesting to think about this as specials now because they don't... Like, some of them don't have official specials. Like the ones that you have to cover the ground to take out. But that's kind of like a splat zone, in a way. So I don't know. I mean, it could be like a, um... Uh, a mine, I guess. But I don't know, I think that would be a cool special to just have. Is just place a, like, a bomb on the ground that you can, like, the other team can see. No, it doesn't make sense though, is the thing. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know. It could be interesting, but it doesn't make sense. I guess there's also the one that jumps out of the ground as well. Maybe if you could, like, spawn in these enemies <laughs> as your special. But that still wouldn't make sense, I don't know. The one that jumps out of the ground would make sense, but the one that is in the air and then falls, like, splashes down, wouldn't. But anyway, that's the first first wave. We managed to do pretty well with that, but let's see if we can keep that up. Also, I kind of am sad with this... Like, the, 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 I say sad. It, it's not really a thing that needs to be a thing, but... This, this reminds me of, um... Like, the Sonic Adventure... I can't remember which one it is. I think it's one. But, like, where everything is flooded and... Now I might have just been remembering stuff wrong, but I feel like it'd be cool to have the pollution water flowing out of the building windows, like somebody, like the actual like flooding, flooding, if that makes sense. Like the pipes, the the, the plumbing is burst and uh, the the buildings and stuff is just flowing out of the windows. I just think that'd be a cool addition to this big run. I, like idea basically I just think it would vibe with the, the theme pretty well oh boy if you're getting shot by a stinger it's probably good to get to higher ground so that your allies don't get hit with it as well is another thing that I should point out so that's why I'm up here right now trying to divert the attack as best as I can using my special wave 2 though to try and take out some of these bosses and keep my allies alive it's probably worth it I probably should have been going for the, the stinger enemy I just don't know what it's called for some reason. Oh boy. This is not a great spot for this, but it's okay. Oh, I'm last person alive, am I? Cool, I should probably be using a special. Probably using a special. It's fine, somehow. We need two more golden eggs, though. Oh, and we're dead. We're so dead. Nope, we're alive. One more thing. Why am I not getting the one more thing? I'm trying to just survive, I guess. I'm trying to take out the bosses that are killing us. So we live longer. Okay, we won, but we are on to the last wave, and I don't have a special. I hope the others do. Oh boy. I should really... I should really think about what I've done. It's fine. I... I this, I'm, I'm disappointed with this outcome, but I, I'm happy that I could be here at all, so... It's... It's better than the alternative, so... Oh boy, there's a tower here that I should probably deal with. Brush is probably good for this, but we need to also jump up to get up all the way. Which works for us. Splatoon 3 just has some really good additions to the game. Some really good additions. Also, where'd the music go? Why is everything breaking? It's fine. Again, I apologize, but this is this is this is this is alright, I guess. I probably don't need to feel too bad, but still. I kinda do. Also, if I can get this to drop, that'd be great. Somebody else got rid of it. Cool. Ah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Move. I can't. I ran out of ink, I think. That's a lot of bosses. 
Uh, and not enough specials, as far as I can tell. Not enough people using the specials, that is. Oh boy, get out of the circle so I don't die. I need to get up this wall. This wall's pretty helpful, so paint that if you can. If you if there's ever another big run in this area, that is. I imagine that eventually they'll just have big runs as regular events, possibly. Like, even as, like, regu regular stages, maybe. Not even, like, big runs, but just stages. Uh, it's fine. I don't have ink, so I can't take this out. I'm gonna have to jump down to live, because I'm getting shot up by missiles. We need one more egg in the basket. There we go. Now we just need to survive six more seconds. We're pretty good. As long as we don't get destroyed, it's fine. Very nice. 31. There's so much stuff getting shot at us. Wow. It's also good to just um, try and take out any enemies after the end of the round, because you can get eggs from them for points and get rewards faster and stuff. So, I mean, it's not necessary, but you can do it anyway. Just for extra, extra reward. I feel like you have to be a higher, a higher rank, like a high profession, to get the really high scores. I don't know how you'd manage that. Also, I still have the red uh, outfit for this. I did get the yellow one, but not... Actually, I think I did get the green one as well. But that was after getting the yellow one, so... But I have, I've actually been playing this enough to actually get some other stuff unlocked as well. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of just regular enemies spawning in already. And I'm out of ink. Oh, there's a boss. They usually like to swap which direction they're coming from after the first boss, so... Probably there's stuff spawning behind me right now. Up on the opposite side of our base. Also, there's a tower. There's a bunch of stuff happening. So much stuff. You have to play summon run a lot to get all of the the stuff in the shop. Kind of crazy, because the only way to buy most of the stuff, it, well, actually all of the stuff, I'm pretty sure, is by getting fighting the bosses basically to get the seashells. But that's very. That takes a lot of work to just get that far because you have to you have to get the the what's it called the the meter up, but also then you also have to get to the third wave and win. And then you have to fight the boss and not lose, basically, and not, or not do terrible. At the very least, so... It's a lot. Just a lot. Take that out. We're doing alright. We have enough gold next. I'm trying to focus on getting more right now. We have 17 seconds left, though, so... If I can revive the helpful peoples to collect more gold eggs, that'd be good as well. There's just a lot of regular chums in the way. A lot of regular chums between us and gold. Well, 35, that's pretty good for round one, I'd say. I don't know if other people would say, but still. Because if, if just thinking about getting to 150, it means you have to get like 50 gold eggs per round, so you, ha you must have to be in the later... the later ranks, but even then, even then, you still would have to get so many golden eggs back to the base without dying. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty, pretty difficult as it is to just get golden eggs back to the base without dying, because you have to keep on top of more bosses and more, more golden eggs. I guess maybe because of more bosses, there's just going to be more golden eggs close to the base. It's probably just going to have lots of them get stolen and not used, but at the very least it'll be a better outcome somehow. I guess I'll have to just get good and find out, <laughs> eventually. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but anyway. Also, you can throw a, a, a bomb on top of the, the UFOs, and that might be helpful as well. Just think of different ways to take out bosses. Ah, uh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We try and take this UFO down. If I could get it to smash the the tail of the snake one, that'd be pretty good. But that's not happening, apparently, so that's fine. 
Oh boy. Everything's fine. There's just a few bosses around, which is the problem. Oh boy, speaking of which, speaking of which, speaking of which, I need to revive you. There's another one there. There's so many bosses. Like, it's crazy. I feel like the main problem with the later ranks is you're not going to have enough ink. But maybe you can use your specials to recover ink faster, maybe. Very possibly. Also, it's weird because I feel like people at this rank and, and this far into the playing the game still don't know that you can, if you throw then jump, you throw stuff further. I feel like people still don't know that, which is weird. I would expect me to be the one not knowing things, but I feel like people, they don't throw things high enough. Also, this mode is the hardest mode to survive, but if you can hold onto a wall long enough and have your allies take out the enemies, you can probably survive. The only problem is that I think since the, uh, the most recent update of the game, they can also climb walls now if they push against it long enough, which is a bit of a problem for this mode because there's basically no way to win then. I mean, you can get to higher ground, but they can still get you. I feel like they also need more walls on some of these maps to survive this mode. It's a, it's a, it's a weird mode. It's the hardest mode of Salmon Run. Because there's just hordes and hordes and hordes. Always just destroying everyone. And there's no way to revive. There's no way to collect eggs. It's just nightmare for this. But it is, it is hard to win this. This spot here on this map is pretty good, but they can still climb up if they push it long enough. If there's like too many of them, it makes it easier for them to climb up, so... You really have to have the whole team alive and taking out enemies. And somehow, in between everything, collect golden eggs. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this round, though. Just gonna try and get some of these while they're distracted at the very end here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a lot of stuff here, but if we've made it. There we go. I don't think there's a boss at the moment, so we're good. New high score, apparently. Okay, so here we go again. Looks like I'm playing with pretty, pretty good players, probably. I mean, imagine if if they have yellow and green outfits, that they're pretty good. If they have anything else, they're also pretty good. I have no idea how people have had enough time to play this game to get like pink and black and the the Splatoon 2 outfit as well, because they also have the Splatoon 2 Salmon Run outfit available. The uniform. Take out this boss quickly. If you're being chased by that, you probably want to lead it away in a way that other people can help out. And so that they're not getting crushed as well. It's just difficult when there are multiple of them as well, so... If you can get in a loop, it might be good. I also love the helicopter that we have to get in and out of the, the run, basically. But also, I like that in the the main part of Splatsville, during the big run, that they're also flying around there, which is just really cool, just in general. Oh boy, try and blow that up a little bit. At least taking out one of its boxes is still pretty good, because then it sh can't shoot out as much, but it's still, it's still not good to keep it alive, basically. Oh boy, there's several towers here. I'm going to try and get some of these. Since there are two of them here, somehow, right on our base, uh, I'm going to leave you here and try and get the other one, I guess. I probably should have decided that sooner, but that's fine. We weren't sure who was going to stay and who was going to leave. Immediately, at least. It's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. Just need to take this out. There's another one. I should probably try and take out if I can. Well, it might be difficult. We also have three seconds left, so it probably doesn't matter anyway. But that was a good round. That was a good first round. I didn't think we used our specials, so we still have those to use. Let's see how we go. 
Okay, roller. Interesting. I'm also not great with rollers, but that's probably because I don't practice them enough. I really should get better at them, but I don't know. I'd actually have to play them in, like, turf wars and stuff. I don't know if I'd play them in rank modes, though. But it's fine. We just need to get rid of that enemy up there. We can control the crowds as much as we can. If we can run, roll into them, that'd probably be good, but I don't think I'm going to do that at all in this. Uh, we also have two specials left that we can use. Hopefully not going to waste them. Oh boy. I'm trying to push these enemies back, but I'm not doing a very great job of it. Most because I'm bad with the roll, but that's okay. Have to hit them a few times to get through them. It's better with the larger crowd of enemies to roll into them. And then throw if you have a smaller crowd of them, so... Somebody's using the special, the shark thing, a moors. I only know that because I'm from the future. So... Oh, getting shot by things. That's gonna make things difficult, especially if I don't try to dodge at all. But it's fine. Just need to stay alive. All of us are still alive, we always have a quota, so that's good. Just need a little bit more. Oh boy, don't push me off the edge! Nope. That's not good. I'm gonna try and get back to the base, only two people left alive. Fine, fine. Oh, fine. Everything's fine. There's so much stuff on either side that we need to take care of. The thing about the roller, though, once round, probably shouldn't use it again, just because we probably want to have it for the third round. Ah, one player left. Oh boy. Two players. We have a quota, so we just need to survive now. Please just survive, please just survive. Okay, we've all back up again. That was a bad placement for that special there, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that somebody was going to stay alive, but it was not a great time for that. Basically waste that, and we're down to nothing now, so... Let's try and just cover this ground. And get ready. I might also take the high ground if I can. For safety. If I can. Nope, no mind. Forget that. Gonna try and do my best from a distance. It's really the best I can do. So, there's a tower. Which might be good for me to take that out because if they spin into my attacks, then I can just do that basically. Which is pretty helpful. Gonna try and take out some of the regular chums. Let's help out with crowd control. Oh boy, there's that one sending shockwaves to our base. Somebody's down behind me. So they must have fallen in. It's understandable. Ow, did I just get hit by the tower? Dropping into the ground? I think so. Oh boy, somebody's on their own. Can't really do much. At all. Oh, there's another tower. Gonna try and take care of that. Oh boy, oh boy, we're dead. We're so dead, surely. I don't think there's any chance of surviving unless people have specials. They do. We need to get a lot more golden eggs currently. We might be able to survive, but I don't think we have enough golden eggs at all, so... I'm gonna try and take out some of these bosses. I don't think it's going enough though, maybe? We have a little bit of time left? Oh, that was close. Oh dear, there's... no, there's no way. We need six more in six seconds. No, we're too, too many of us are down. Well, that was a shame. We made it that far. But it's 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 hit or miss with Salmon Run, so... It's just how it is. I feel like I need to probably just play Salmon Run when there's a good weapon rotation. Just so I can rank up a little bit more. And hopefully not rank down. Anyway. See you in the next part, I guess.